when you walk up to a booth at 5.30 in the morning and it's the first thing you see, it's a good day. Let's ask prices. First thing in the morning, I'm talking the second we walk into the beautiful morning of this swap meet, I just see Switch games sitting there on the counter. All, all empty. So you said five on the cases. These are the only ones with games. Those ones have the games. That was, those are empty. Give me $20. 20? Then when I open them, I realize the Switch games were in fact empty, but then I do find some games that happen to have some games in there. There's Harry Potter's and the Sorcerer's Stone. There's also Xbox Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Super rad. Merry morning. 20 bucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, what do you think, Ricky? What do you think, Ricky? Pretty good. Like Curtis was mean to me 20 seconds ago. I love you. Sure. Hey, did you really get your card stolen? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> For that booth, what I ended up getting, I got, these are cases only, just so you guys know, everyone's like, how the heck did you pay $20? Um, these are all case only, but still, just for a few bucks each. Bunch of good games in there, but the ones that had the games in there were Harry Potter, Sorcerer's Stone, really clean PS1, and fantastic game. Probably the only one here I would actually, well, care to play, because there's only two of them. Uh, Gauntlet Dark Legacy. All the Gauntlet games have been fun for me since day one. I know a lot of people started liking them when the 3D stuff came out. I've liked them since the very beginning all the way from the arcade. I have not seen such bravery. Jared, Jared, insert that clip. I've not seen such bravery. And then Ricky got a whole bunch of great stuff too. What'd you get? All right, so what I got from the same booth is... That swap meet looks nice and all riff, but I don't have time to get out to the swap meet. Don't worry about that. I can get you some games straight from your home. Check out RetroVGames.com. Relive the nostalgia with Retro V Games. They've got everything from Atari 2600 to PlayStation 5. God, I love the Atari 2600. 100% authentic games, systems, and accessories. No need to check if these games are real or not because we've done that for you. With over 10,000 five-star reviews, you can trust RetroVGames.com. There's also a catalog of 5,000? 10,000? 15,000? Almost 20,000 wow. games and consoles to choose from. Hunting for games but on a budget? Change that filter to price from low to high and get yourself going on some of the cheaper stuff. Or take a gander at some of the more pricey games to really show off to the rest of the collectors out there. We're talking Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, GameCube, Nintendo Wii, Wii U, PlayStation 1 through 5, Mega Master System, Genesis, Game Gear, Saturn, Dreamcast, Coleco, Neo Geo, Turbo Graphics, and there's featured products to help you not have to search so hard. These are some of the things we know you're looking for. Also, there's a hassle-free 121-day warranty wow. that lets you shop with confidence. And if you want even more of a discount, use promo code PIXELGAMESQUAD for 12% off. Check the link in the description. Now back to the video now that all your problems are solved. Zelders, Nightcaster, Dark Alliance, Gran Turismo Seal, and N64, but with the jumper pack. Let's go. All for 40. So it was pretty good. Well, I wasn't necessarily so much jazzed on the games that he got, even though they're fine, but he got a Nintendo 64 with an expansion pack. Everything he got, 40 bucks. That's that's a good deal. That, that red jumper pack right there alone, that's worth that 40 bucks. So Ricky, one, Riff one, starting out good. There they are. Oh, one of them. Oh, we walk over, we're walking by a booth and our friend Twisted tells us, hey, there's a guy over there that has Nintendo games. So I start walking over, I'm like, okay, there's gonna be Nintendo games, but I don't know, we, we, this vendor's never had games before. I'm gonna show the people. Mario All-Stars, Jungle Strike, Mario Kart, Metroid, Rampage, Bubble oh, Bobble, a uh, chewed up All-Stars right there, and Golfy Doll. You tell me if I'm what I'm allowed, bro. You were here first, I'm showing respect to you. <laughs> you walk over, this guy has great games. Metroid, Bubble Bobble, a bunch of the Mario games, the Mario Karts, the Mario, Super Mario All-Stars, which is, by the way, one of the best ways to experience a bunch of Mario games. Aside from that, we start talking, we start talking, the deal's not bad at all. He ends up offering me a pretty good deal. He kind of had everything on a piece of paper, knew what everything goes for, and then he said it'll just drop down little by little on each item if I took everything. Oh, and in the end, I ended up paying him $10 for the um, the tray. I forgot to count that in when I said the original 90. So, feels good, great start. The, the day's been going fantastic. Uh, so, here's all the stuff I ended up getting. I got pretty much the whole entire lot, except for Mario Kart and Jungle Strike. I just had so many of them. The one I didn't really even know existed was Operation Europe. It's a game I've never even heard of before. I'm guessing it's like some sort of strategy game from 
just based off the cover, but maybe it's good. Maybe I'm wrong and it's a rad platformer and I'm completely screwed up, but cool. I'll take it, 90 bucks? Yep, 90 bucks for the bundle. Oh, and this. All right, so we go to another booth and it ends up being the same booth as last time where we found all the Sid Haig stuff, all the horror documents, some of the craziest rare stuff that we've ever seen. And we go back and she still has more stuff kind of from this era. I'm digging through the whole booth. I'm finding a ton of good stuff, Nickelodeon stuff, uh, more script stuff, more stuff from Vintage Academy Awards, just tons of stuff that's making me excited because we've said it before, we've said it again. And we'll say it again a million times. Ricky, can you buy every rare game on the NES on eBay. Yes. Ricky, can you buy scripts that were from their personal documents, l personal written letters to these one-off things, these one-off horror movies? Can you find that on eBay? It's one of one, so no. We've been digging through here. This is the place we found all the horror stuff before. Um, look at this. So, Mattel Nickelodeon. We haven't been able to look at what this stuff exactly is yet, but uh, it looks like maybe it's some different like pictures or like little shorts by Nickelodeon and Mattel found this Plimsoll's wrap-up book. This is a, a rock band from, I think the 80s or 90s. People went around, look at that. Got all their pictures with them, went around to their tours. I found more like that. Look at this. Trailer reels, Batman and Robin. Tomorrow Never Dies. Look at this, Wizard of Oz original soundtrack. The Disneyland Electric Parade three-fourths track in stereo. Dark Crystal. Look at this too. Academy Awards from the freaking 90s. All their internals. This was cool to another tour. Queen, News of the World. People went around, checked all this stuff out, went and did the tours and everything. So it's pretty cool so far. Actually, extremely cool. We talked about this last time. This is like the, the stuff you can't get ever again. So diving through, I just found this. Last time, this is all from Sid Haig's estate. that thing, Ricky? Can I see it? Why? NASA. Try that on, bro. Will it fit you? I don't think so. I got a pretty big head. A big producer? A big... Wait, wait, wait. wait. So you see what's below you, right? Yeah, the track. Oh, the Mario Kart. Yeah, the Mario Kart Wii oh, track. Let me see. Ricky. I'm ready to go to space. All right, look at Check these out. So Halloween, you can come in here, Twisted. Come on in, go. We're coming in. So Halloween right there. What else we got? We got Nightmare on Elm Street. Let's see. Is it complete? It does look complete. You got Freddy. And I was just watching so many more documentaries on this kind of stuff. I get like a real sense of excitement when this time of the year is coming because I just freaking love Halloween time. So I'm gonna get these, 15 bucks each. So I'll just do it. They're super rad, I'm not even gonna negotiate. So our buddy Boogie reached out to me, he texted me uh, that he had a lot for 200 bucks, sent me pics and we accepted. But when we got here to the swap meet, it was kind of cool. He gave us the lot. He had a bunch of other extra stuff, but he's like, hey, I also got this one thing over here. And I'm like, oh, what is it, bro? Brings out this giant box. Ricky, what's going Dude. on over here? So we got this zeal going, but on top of that, check this out. Vectrex, I can tell from a mile away. But. Uh-oh. But. Yes. But. With the games. How much? What's his price? 500. You want it? I might take it, not going to lie. <laughs> you know, I'll buy it right now. <laughs> You don't think twice about stuff like that. Yes. You want it? Does it work? Yeah, it works. He brought a Vectrex. He didn't tell me anything about a Vectrex. He should have told, he should have let off with a Vectrex. I was like, dude, I'll take it. I don't care what it is. I'll take it. So, shows it to us, me and Riff, dude, we just split it half and half and we take the Vectrex, the games, and the glory. There you go, Ricky. Let's check it out though. Vectrex, let's show this baby some love. All right, let's go. So let's it works. Let's see what games we got. Let's see what games we got. All right, all right, all right. Let's see the games in here. All right, so we beautiful. We got we got Hyper Chase. Awesome. Hyper Chase after the right price. You got Berserk. Berserk. Great game. You got Scramble. Yep, that's pretty much a Vectrex staple right there. This one's a ripoff. Oh, oh, sorry, that was terrible. Well, you don't want them out. <laughs> don't want them out on the show again. Oh, that's the, I haven't seen that one before. Starhawk. That actually looks like Tron. I kind of like it. Yeah, that's awesome. And. Armor attack. Woohoo, let's go. All right, then we probably should have showed all this. We bought all of this as well. Ricky, I mean, we didn't even show this stuff because we got so excited. We got so excited over the Vectrex. Why don't you kind of show what's in here a little bit? I mean, we didn't even go through this at all. All right, so we got some N64 games. We got Star Wars, Extreme G, 
Look at this. We got three race. Ooh, Final Fantasy. The... Sonic Shuffle. Wow. Greatest hits. Hold on, hold on. We got some Fantasy Star. This is the Japanese. Japanese That's... games are always so cool. They look cool. They All look cool. To me looks cool too. Is that Pal or? It was, I don't know. My buddy. My buddy. Riveting. Ribbon? Ribbon? Riveting. I don't know. But I don't know what this game. is. Game. Well, you boys, we got some Monster Hunter. We got some N2O, Nitrous Oxide, and some Quake Arena. That's a goodie. And, and then, yeah, a yeah, bunch of, a, I mean, you can see in here, like, yeah. just even that, there's Resident Evil, there's Dark Cloud, great game. Oh, that's actually a fun game. Uh, Tom and Jerry War the Whiskers, Godfather of the Game. Ooh. Win back, and yeah, a bunch of other stuff, too. So, super rad. Dude, this is awesome. Yeah, the Vectrix. It's a crazy song. morning already. I know that Vectrix. Ricky told me beforehand about the games coming, and I was like, sweet, all right, we got games coming. That's cool, that's exciting. But when he pulled out the Vectrex, that's when I got excited to write with Ricky. I just was so excited to see it come out. No matter how many times you see it, because it's not often, when you do, and if you've ever put your hands on one, you know you're in for a treat playing the Vectrex. It's like, it's almost like the first time what it felt like when my two thumbs graced Ricky's nipples, like that. It was just like this feeling that you can't recreate. All right, Vectrex, man. I mean, it's been a while. We picked up a Vectrex, what, six months ago? It's just crazy because it was like years, decade of being at the swap meet, never seeing a Vectrex in the wild. And then now going to finding multiple Vectrexes and then just boxes and games and everything. If you haven't played the Vectrex, so I highly recommend giving it a shot, even if you're not nostalgic for it, it will mess with your brain because of the way it is. It's just so cool. The graphic styling is like something you've never, and I'll say you can't even feel it looking at gameplay of it. You have to quite literally play it to feel it and experience like the movement and the feel of the weird lines and the colors, or not colors, but the, what would you call them? Neon white light things, they're awesome. Hey, did they play this in Japan, do you know? The yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, baby, what do you think? And a bunch more wow. in there. Like five more in here, look at that. Shima, shima, shima. What do you think, rate it. How many camel toes out of 69? Ooh. 10 out of 10, baby. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I see that, Austin. I was actually looking at this. Dang, that old iMac with the blue sides. That was at my girlfriend's house, now wife, when I first met her. I remember them having this. A little, little liftage right here, but that's okay. I get to get But It's Sejoni's. What's that say? Is it Sejoni? I don't know, but she's got a sticker from 2015, which would be 15 to 20 years too late. So. Wow, and then also, you got the, the keyboard and the, the mouse is so cool. What's SDP? S Stone Temple Pilots. That's uh, SDP, okay. dummy. <laughs> All right, Ricky, you're on candid camera. What are you pulling out over there? Uh, PS, PS2, PS3, okay, Wii okay. games. Uh, nothing cray cray. PS2. You need, you need help looking, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah. Go, go, go ahead. Go ready? Ahead. I'm gonna pull you a good one right here. Ready let me see. This? Let me see. I want to see some real good. You ain't ready for this. Oh, dang. Oh, I picked the worst <laughs> lot. <laughs> Shut up. I couldn't have pulled a worse one. I know. <laughs> wow. There you go. Dang it. Sorry, dude. Randomly, I just picked up a Joy-Con and Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. There we go. For 25 bucks. Let what, Ricky? You wanna fight me, bro? Come back, round town. Oh, your phone dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Look at this. What are you looking at over here? Let me see that. Who's just found this lying on the ground? This is so cool. Yeah. Magma, right? Yeah, film title, Magma, Japanese, Japanese no, animation, original drawing production. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I won't pretend that I know this show. Me and Ricky both thought it was Mummies Alive from far away. But super cool. Twisted, what do you think? It's pretty dope. Pretty dope. Well, that looks like a, someone from Voltron, I think, or something. It's from something called Magma, apparently. Okay. Okay. Unless we're wrong and we're completely getting yelled at yeah. by the internet, which would be normal. Yeah. We get yeah. yelled at by the internet quite a lot. Tanich. Dr. Mario, you know what? Funny enough, I really enjoy this game. Really? I don't think I played it. You ready for my unpopular opinion? Yeah. Love this game. Never been a fan of Dr. Mario. I honestly never understood it when I was a kid. That's, it was too hard for me to understand. I definitely understand it. I just don't, I just never liked it. There you go. It's, it, I thought it was Tetris, so I kept trying to Tetris it. It's not work that way. The 
this one? That one's 20 dollars. 20 bucks? It's funny, I just bought it at another booth. <laughs> yeah. How about the, the mat? The mat? That one needs an operating system. Okay. Yeah, but this is... This is wow. I'm asking 100. 100 bucks, that is so cool. How about the these Tiger handhelds? Um, oh, yeah. Give me a $20 seat. That one has batteries. This one? Yeah. The other one I didn't try, but I think it works. Oh, man, it does work. Seat fighter works. Give me a $20. Let's go. Tenure fight. Okay, so I'll say medium, good game, good game, good game, bad game, good game, good game, very good game, good game, crappy game, great game, great game. Oh, pretty good games. Nice shot for how much? 40 bucks. Let's go. 40 bucks. Five screws. Oh. Five screws. Oh, wait, that Goonies. How many screws? Ooh. Close. <laughs> that, if it's high school, yeah. you know, it's like 90 bucks. Yeah. Look at that. Look at this, dude. It's an Emerson. That is like legit. legit. <laughs> I don't know. Most likely it doesn't work, but. You don't know that, dog. No? I mean, probably most likely it doesn't work. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. You're right. I wish they had the knob. This knob's missing. The contrast. Maybe it's in there. Nope. It's not. <laughs> All right, off to Dusty's next. It's funny, we haven't been to Dusty's. We just thought about that. We're like, why have we not been to Dusty's yet? And it's like, late for us. It's like eight in the morning. But uh, he called, he was upset at me. He yelled at me and he's like, you guys need to get over here. Come down, see your boy Dusty. So let's see if he actually has some for us. Or if, oh, I need to say, make this clear. A lot of people are like, hey, Dusty holds everything for you. No, he does not. He holds very specific short amount of items for us. And he's over here to Dusty. Hey. Oh, you wait. better not have given the deal to those guys. They better not be the replacement. Done, done. Wow. Done. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. To these guys, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you out get. Of, yeah. Out of all the lose. people you yes, could have sold to. That's what you get for coming two hours late. You had to sell on to these Sorry. guys. No, Sorry. I told him I'd raise the price $50 on you because you are. <laughs> well, uh, I, I got outbid, so. <laughs> you go. Where'd you get this? Oh, Who's that? Yeah. What's in there? Backroom deal. When you come late. <laughs> <laughs> so we rush over to Dusty's booth after he called us, and we get there, and there's a bunch of cool SP stuff, all this good stuff, and then we hand it over to Riff. So yeah, when we got there, Ricky was like, I'm looking at it, I'm giving Ricky first dibs, but then Ricky's like, dude, go for it. I don't need more stuff, it's okay. But I start looking, some great games in there. There's Pokemon in there. There's some turtle stuff in there. There's some Spider-Man stuff in there. There's a red SP. So I'm like, this is good. This is good stuff. I'm debating, I'm thinking, what kind of deal can I get? Ricky, Ricky. Oh, oh whoa. Shoot. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, 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 Sapphire. Oh, yep, it's there. It's official. That's official. Yeah, it's a Chinese turtle copy. Turtle two, Oidles, <laughs> some Army Men, Tony Hawk three. Come on, pinball. Spyro and Spider-Man. Ricky. The question is, what does he want? <laughs> wait, wait. Let's see if it works. It's probably just not charged. <laughs> or <I laughs> dead or it just doesn't work. Oh, yeah, dude. Plus, it comes with this Pikachu for free, right? Oh, right, yeah. Dusty? Yeah, buy all the games, get the Pikachu for free. How, how much, Dusty? What, 200 bucks? Cheap price for a cheap guy? I'm a Microsoft guy, dude. So I don't know. Is that a good deal? I don't, I don't know. You're the the guys. What happened, dude? I thought you guys were professionals. But then... Dusty pulls out Majora's Mask, and Ricky and I right there are like lenticular Majora's Mask. Let's split this. Let's bundle it together. I see that, bro. Don't Man. bring that over, oh. though, Shane. All right, how much for all, bro? Come on, 170. 180? Yeah. All right. All right, bro. Uh, hey, can I go up there? What's it like to be up here? Go ahead, dude. Oh, let me go up here, bro. Let me see. I might feel, let me see if I feel cool. Up here. Hey, hey, you got let me, play. let me reenact Dusty. Here. Let's play a game. Let's play a game. Pull okay. one item and see if you die. <laughs> <laughs> see if it all falls off. Alright, you be Dusty, I'll be Rip. How much for this guy? Oh, no, I'll be Dusty. Right, How much for right. this guy? Um, so this goes for about 20 online, but for you, 78. Oh my god, I've never yeah, found yeah. this at the yeah, thrift before. Uh, this is the Zelda, as you can see, there's hey, the uh, the promo stamp on here. Now, this is probably like a thousand dollars. Now let me be Tony. Oh, you learned a lot from me. <laughs> Riff has a yellow card, guys. What? Yeah! <laughs> Right, sir? Right. Can you speak Japanese or anything? I speak Vietnamese. Let me hear it, please. Trời ơi, đúng mà! That's it. <laughs> please, for, for the love of everything, don't cancel us. Tony allows us to be this stupid. And Dusty... Uh, What's up, guys? We're going to the Swami so we can steal from all the people that work hard all week. We work hard all week? Who's got a better shirt on? Leave it in the comments below. Didn't include the Pokemon. Hey, that was part, I thought that was part of the deal. I thought the Pokemon was part of the deal, bro. Oh my god. 
Nah, dude, you're always robbing me, bro. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah! Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me grab my ankle. <laughs> no, you can have it, I don't care. Ricky yeah. wants it, let's take it, Ricky. He's a plush king. You know Ricky's a plush guy. Ever got high-end plushies, Ricky pays up. There's a such thing as high-end plush, dude? Oh, yeah, there is. I am. We'll yeah. tell you if there is. He will. Clearly, an Elvis collector has a whole bunch of Elvis stuff with all that. I do love the old, like, magazine announcements for whatever happened. Dude, it's like, crazy how big he was, man. Huge. His middle name was Aaron. And the Ricky's looking at Squidward over there. That's a big Squidward. That's a huge Squidward. Jailhouse Rock. I think there was some more over here. Oh, nice. Yeah, more Elvis. Some Princess Leia. Oh, yeah, a couple Princess Leia things right here. More Elvis. Elvis, Jesus, and Coca-Cola. What the heck is that about? Yeah, there's a lot of it here. I did like Elvis. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> These are super rad. I don't know why I think they're so much cooler maybe than everyone else does. Something about them. Maybe they remind me of somebody. I'm just kidding. That's not true. Me. <laughs> There's Ricky lately. Right there. <laughs> Ricky. Who's this? Hopefully nobody. <laughs> nope. This is cool because you even got the push to talk. You know what that means, Ricky? What? You should buy it, right, Twisted? Yes, definitely buy it. I don't know. There's something on here. Did Ricky buy it? Yes. Always. Buy everything, dude. Buy everything, Ricky. In fact, so. <laughs> Lots of games. Let's see. Are they all over? Man, it is so hard. Oh, this is such a fun game, Ricky. Ready? Right there. Virtua Tennis 3. I used to play that in the arcade all the time. What a fun one. I'm trying to just look for a game that just links my nostalgia for it. it doesn't even need to be a good game. Just something that just something. Come on, I'm looking one more fun. This is gonna be the one. This is gonna be the stack that has the game that changed my childhood. Ready, Ricky? Yeah. It's gonna be. Oh, oh, there it is! Quarterly! Oh. Lunchbox time! Walk over at the booth. Lunchbox. I love me some lunchboxes, but then Ricky's looking at the Hulk one, and I see Batman the Animated Series one. <sighs> I'm excited for it. But then, I see a Freddy, a Freddy Nightmare on Elm Street lunchbox, and then I see a couple other gizmos and gadgets. You gotta bundle them up. I was surprised. It's funny. You ever go game hunting and, like, a person that's selling stuff, you're like, oh, that's gonna be the one they're gonna ask for the most on because it's the coolest. Oh, Ricky, what'd you find over here? Oh, you right. Wii Charging. Wii Charging, the Rayman's, cool. and... Oh, he's always oh, Nemesis. No Thermos? No Thermos. Look at this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. One of the shows that inspired... Did you know, and I said this before in the what? podcast, that this was so successful that the Ninja Turtles, the official Ninja Turtles, yeah. changed the way the characters were drawn to look more like Batman the Animated Series because it was so popular. Dude, it was a great show, though. The more, is that Power Rangers? Where? Right there, that. Yeah. That is, huh? Whoa. Is this, you're just tipping over the best thing here. Nope, it does not have it. I won't take it out. I'll put two of these out. Oh. So I'm not stealing. I don't want to steal. Yet. <laughs> but look at this old flip Fred. Look at this Fred. Yo, that's a good Fred, actually. They got a Ghostbusters, a Nightmare on Elm, Batman. I'm telling this, the Pixel Pal, which is cool. I actually really like the Pixel Pals. Look at Three Stooges. How much are the plushies, Ricky? Uh, Three Stooges. I watched a documentary the other night on this. I've been watching so many documentaries lately while I drive. And look at this. Alvin with another Alvin. So this one's better. This one's cooler, in my opinion. I, wow, I'm literally not saying this to be dumb. Watched a documentary on this recently, <laughs> literally. She was charging like five bucks across the board, but she went even cheaper for the Batman, the animated series, mint condition, by the way. Thermos branded lunchbox, everything for super cheap. That's what I'm talking about. That's where the freaking swamp me and will never stop coming ever. Today has been stupid unreal. No matter what you think, no matter what you say, Curtis, should I steal this and go drive away in it? Yeah, go for it. Look at these down here. Hoser spawned some Mighty Max, but you got the little ones, which I see the pockets quite a bit, but I don't see the castles too often. Such cool branding on Mighty Max. Just such a beautiful thing. I feel like it's a, a little bit of a underloved, underloved story in the world of retro. I bought all this, by the way. Let's go this way. Rugi, what'd you get? I got, I got Kyle, Amiibo, Toad Amiibo, and this band Presto Goomba. Ooh, that's a big that's Goomba. That's a big Goomba. Is that bigger than Curtis's head? 
Everything. <laughs> Did you say everything is bigger than Curtis's head? He has this, dude, his, the smallest hats fit his head. Dude, all the time, dude. It's I impressive. Have a two year old hat. It's pretty impressive. You can get child hats, like the cool ones, and wear them. I think it's like a six and seven eighths is like my head. If you would have told me, let's see, what we walk away with today Batman animated. Oh, look at this. I forgot about Curtis's art animation cells. Yeah. Curtis's weird random horror scripts that we still have to be determined what they are. I don't even think we showed these. I mean, we got movie trailer reels, Batman and Robin, Tomorrow Never Dies, a whole bunch of other ones. I think like Home Alone is in there. Home Alone 3, better make it clear. My vintage Alvin shirts, but come on. A Vectrex, walking away with a Vectrex today. Look at all, all this, Ricky, show them, Look bro. At this. We got plushies, we got Vectrex games boxed. We got some figures. These figures are sick, Reels. More reels, Dark Crystal, Games N64. Oh, and I forgot even the lot from Dusty. Oh yeah. The Pokemons, the games, the, look at this. Like, what? The Majora's Masks. Remember first thing in the morning, all the Nintendo games down there? Look at that, dude. dude just come down in there, bro. It is just, again, I, I, we were just talking to someone who met us, uh, a fan of the show, thankfully, and he was like, I don't get it. I don't get it how this is like every weekend. And I said, I literally don't get it either. It's just, uh, it's cool we pay off all the people before we show up. Everything's staged. <laughs> Most of the graphics, all this stuff is CGI. This is actually me holding up a green piece of paper right now. This is all CGI, it's all fake. I thought the swap meet was over and I see Ricky still walking out past the car and I'm like, where are we going? He's like, dude, I gotta go to Jose's car. Remember I told you about this deal. So we walk out and we go to Jose's car to see what Ricky's buying and all of a sudden I see the back of the trunk and this big giant box and we start digging through and there's some good Super Nintendo games, some great Nintendo games, heck some games that I truly love from my childhood, some really fun ones and I didn't think it hit me but Ricky starts pulling out these Switch games and I'm like yeah I love some Switch games but it's like all the Switch games I like, like the Contra Anniversary, the TMNT Shredders, the Pocky and Rocky, uh, the Shantae games. These are all the games that you gotta, some things you gotta buy to flip, some you gotta buy for the collection, but then a good portion, I'd say a great portion, needs to be bought to be played. And those Switch games right there are straight up players. Straight up like me and Ricky in the 90s dog, cruising around with, with chicas like, hey, what's up baby? That's the players right there, homie. Or my Ricky. Play. I thought the video was over. What's happening right we now? We still got one lot to get, so I'm gonna get it from my good friend over here, Jose. He's got a lot for me, so we're gonna, we're gonna make a little deal. How many games you buying? Uh, five. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> that is a full lie. Yeah, it's a lot. It's actually closer to like 40 games. Is it like close to 40 games? Close to 40 games. Close yeah. to 40 games, some consoles. It's actually some Switch stuff. I really like the Switch stuff. Stay, Caleb, this is your fault. I've been watching your videos too much, and it got me into Switch again. Ah, look at what Ricky's buying in here. Ricky. Look, sealed. Sealed. Zelda's Mario Party, Assassin's Creed. Donkey Kong Jr. Dude, almost blew away. Your money. Your money's blowing away. Stop Watch it, Curtis. Curtis. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, where's, where's the bangers? I know there's some. Mario World, True Lot, Mario All-Stars. Snowboard, Snowboard Kids, Kids 2. 2. Super Pinball. All that. Ricky's going, he's digging. I'm digging. He's digging deep. Oh, oh got it. Ooh, go go on. On. Let's go, Iman. So I got some pretty much some Wii U stuff, some Super Nintendo stuff, N64 stuff, and Switch stuff. The Switch stuff's the stuff I, not gonna lie, these, these are kind of keepers for me. Except for maybe Zumba. Dude, that's <laughs> the one you gotta keep, bro. That's the real keeper right there. Let's, but, Ricky, we gotta get down a little deeper, bro. Go deeper. Come right. on, man. All right, all right, the audience wants to see, like, they wanna see, Ricky, how fast you can do this fast break. And they wanna see, oh, look, here we go. Turtles oh, 3, yeah. babies. That's a good one. Akari Warriors. So, probably not enough love. Akari Warriors is one of my favorites as a kid. And by the way, SNK game, repetitive, catchy soundtrack. It's kind of annoying, but it has a special place in my heart. It's true. What you got? Got some PS1 games that are actually, I think these are bangers. These are actually bangers. Project Titan, Time Crisis, and Twisted Metal Small Doll. Shantae is sealed. Shantae is sealed right here. Oh, Castlevania. I would highly recommend playing Shantae though. If you haven't played any Shantae games. Which one? Half Genie Hero oh. is my favorite. Hey, River City Girl. So I beat this game. You did? How River City it? Tattoo, bro. Dang. Right there, dog. That's what you call tattoo. Beep, 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 Whoa, 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 don't say you, you know. I got this game, beat this game twice, plus the Donkey Kong downloadable DLC with that game. This is a good game, actually all these. Beat this game too, beat all these, have not played that, beat this, and beat that. I'm a freaking gamer. 
Dang. For my service.